All right, y'all, so we're going to see if this brightening concealer right here can do anything about these dark circles. So if you are interested to see how this all works out and if I would recommend this for you to buy, please stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to my video. It's Cami J official, so let's start the show. My name is Cami. welcome or welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and get right to the video so this product right here is the mented full-time brightening concealer and if you do not know mented is a black owned brand of cosmetics and they have a lot of products so this is my first time testing them out on my channel so this concealer comes in eight different shades and i went with the shade called ceo and it says that it is for tan to medium skin tones with warm neutral undertones so this is pretty much what the concealer looks like here. And then it says M fermented on the top. And this is what the applicator looks like. It is a very nice and big doe foot applicator. So this concealer retails for $18. So what I do like about the Menta site is that they do give you a chart that shows you a variety of different skin tones. So that way you can kind of try to better find your match. So I'm going to do it on this eye right here without color corrector. All right, so before I put the concealer on, I definitely want to moisturize my under eye and I'm going to be using my faithful CeraVe eye repair cream. So I'm just gonna take that much and then I'm going to use my ring finger to blend this in. So I'm going to start on this side, like I said, no color correction. And I'm going to just dot it on here, just under the eye, like so. So y'all, I can already tell that this is going to be very hydrating for the under eye just based on the formulation. And I also feel like the color match was pretty good. It's looking like it's going to blend into my complexion really good. I've let it sit on my face for a little bit just to build up the coverage and now I'm going to blend it out for you. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, spray it with a little bit of water to get it damp. All right, so this is supposed to brighten and also help to conceal blemishes. So let's just keep that in mind. All right, y'all, so this is a side without any color correction using that Mented Under Eye Brightener Full Coverage Concealer. You guys, let me know what you think. Looking in my mirror, I can definitely tell that it has done something under the eye without even you know, having to color correct. My under eye is definitely a lot brighter than it was before. That is definitely true. So I do get that brightening. You guys can see my under eyes glistening a little bit because it is a very hydrating formula, not mattifying at all. But I feel like this looks pretty good with just no color corrector on. So now I'm going to apply a second layer and I'm going to see if we can build this up and build the coverage. So I'm going to grab it again. I'm going to be a little more, bit more generous. I'll put it on like I would usually put on my concealer since it's the second pass. I'm going to take my beauty blender once again, and we're going to see if a second layer is going to make that big of a difference with this under eye brightener. All right, so this is it built up with a second layer after letting it sit. And guys, looking in my mirror, I have to say that I'm actually impressed with how this looks, just being by itself without any type of color correction. So now that this side is done, I am going to try it on this side that has like the really bad hyperpigmentation. I call this my good eye and I call this the bad one because as you guys can see, it has a lot more. So let's see if this is going to be able to cover a lot of this hyperpigmentation here. All right, so I'm going to start out using a lot more on this side only because this has way more hyperpigmentation and I'm just gonna focus it on areas of this eye that have the darkest hyperpigmentation there. All right, so now that that has sat on this eye for a little bit, I'm going to grab my Damp Beauty Blender again and blend this out. And we're gonna see if it's able to tackle this eye that has the really bad hyperpigmentation to it. All right, so blending that out and I'm looking in my mirror. Again, I feel like this color match is so, so pretty. It's definitely comparable to my NC50 concealer in MAC. The color is pretty much spot on. And as you can see, as I blend it out, no crazy demarcation or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep blending it up. All right, y'all, so 
This is this side, the bad side with the really deep dark hyperpigmentation. After just applying that one layer of this minted under eye brightening concealer. So off the bat, I can say this is offering really good coverage for me just with that one layer. And it really has done a great job of canceling a lot of the hyperpigmentation. I mean, compared to before, really, this is doing like a really good job. So now just like I did with the good eye that has a little bit of hyperpigmentation on this one that has a lot, I'm going to build this up again to see if we can add even more coverage, make this more seamless and smooth. So I'm going to start again just in this corner of the eye because that's where the deepest hyperpigmentation is. Let that set there. And also this part, which is the bridge of my nose, you guys can see how dark that is. I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to set it on there to see if it's going to do anything for this portion to see how well it can cover. Taking the Damp Beauty Blender again, and we are going to see how well this builds up on the eye that has really bad hyperpigmentation. Now, as you guys can see, the coverage, she is there. When they said full coverage, Minted was not lying. She is full. The coverage is definitely full and it's definitely full and buildable, which I do like about that. And now I'm going to do the bridge of the nose, which again is the one of the hardest parts for me to cover when using any type of concealer. I always typically have to use a color corrector on this side of my face because the dark circles are just so deep that it's hard for a normal concealer to do anything. So we have blended the second layer in on the bad side of the eye. And guys, I can say that she is given not only the coverage, but the brightening as well, the two in one. And she's like giving me the color correction because I'm looking in my mirror and I do not see, typically I would see a lot of grayness busting through down there. I don't see that coming through here and my under eye looks very even. Now the bridge of the nose is a different story. As you can see, honestly, you can see the hyperpigmentation poking through, but I'm just going to add a little bit more there and see if we can layer that up. Just gonna hit this right here. just that much to build up the bridge of the nose. We're gonna take the Beauty Blender one more time and just blend it into the bridge of the nose and see if it can really do anything for that section. All right, so that is done. I just lightly blended it out. And guys, from what I can see, we definitely have a pretty good amount of coverage for the bridge of the nose. So the final test for this side of the eye that had the really bad hyperpigmentation is going to be me putting on my setting powder and see if this grays out or not. So I'm going to take about this much again, not too much, and I'm going to blend this setting powder in anywhere I put that concealer. So now both sides of my face have been done with the minted, the side that had the really bad hyperpigmentation versus the side that had a little bit of hyperpigmentation. So to seal the deal, I am going to use my setting spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. All right, y'all, so I'm going to be back in about four or five hours to see if this turns gray throughout the rest of the day because that's going to be the real telling sign if this minted full-time under eye brightening concealer is going to be the real deal or not. Five hours later. All right, y'all, so I am back. It has been a few hours. So this is my final assessment of this minted full coverage under eye brightening concealer. As you can see, even after having it on for quite some time, my under eyes still have that great amount of coverage and my under eyes, surprisingly enough, they did not completely gray out. Like when I look at it in my mirror right there, I can still see the actual concealer and the coverage. And guys, compared to how my under eyes looked before I had any of this concealer on, this is like a huge, like this is a huge deal, right? Because this one product right here was able to really cover my under eyes so this is definitely dark circle approved dark circle approved minted y'all have done something y'all have done something right here now i can still see just a little bit of grayness coming in right there and just a little bit on the bridge of the nose but as a one-stop shop type of concealer we can let that pass but i am legitimately surprised and shook by this because the under eye 
looks so smooth and it looks so good and it is not turning completely like a gray mess on me. And for the price point of $18 for this big old thing of concealer, I feel like this is definitely a win. So my final thoughts are, is this good for dark circles? As you guys can see, yes. But guys, I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, clicking on that notification bell so that way you know whenever I post more videos. But as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.